Hey y'all, it's Chloe and I'm back with another video. Y'all, I got a quick little story time for y'all, okay? Parenting in 2021 is, it's, it's a lot, y'all. It's, it's a lot, okay? Now, I have a nine-year-old daughter, y'all. I know, I know, yes, a nine-year-old daughter. I'm about to be 32 on September 18th. And I'm going to do it like it's my B-Day, okay? Do it like it's your B-Day. Hey, do it like it's your B day, baby. Do it like it's your B day. Okay, I just had to do that. Um, but anyway, y'all. So I'm gonna tell y'all. A couple of weeks ago, I was sitting in my house, minding my business, chilling. Okay, my daughter comes to me and says, and I'm gonna call the little girl Sasha because I don't want to put her full name out there because she's a child. Okay, Sasha gonna bring me some snacks. So I was like what now my y'all it's like eight o'clock i'm sitting here like what whatever my line no sasha gonna bring me some snacks she gonna bring such and such some snacks she, she gonna bring everybody snacks so i'm like whatever sure she gonna bring everybody snacks maybe her parents gonna bring the you know drop her all some snacks to all her friends house whatever you know parents be doing stuff like that so i'm not paying it no mind i get a knock at my door my daughter's looking at me and i'm looking at her and i'm like who's at the door who else is at the door I go to the door. It's Sasha, y'all. Now, I look around. I'm looking outside because it's almost like 9 o'clock at night and there's a 9-year-old girl on my doorstep talking about she's bringing Milan snacks. So, I was like, where's your parents? Oh, 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 um, 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 and, and, and how house. I said, they know you outside? Yeah, they know I'm outside. So, I'm like, Nine-year-old girl outside this late at night. Okay. She goes in the room. She keep here with my line. And then she's leaving. She left. So I was like, Sasha, how you get you going home? She said, yeah, I'm going home. I said, okay. Now, I'm already concerned. So I go to my husband. I'm like, I don't feel like, I don't feel comfortable. Like, why is there a nine-year-old girl walking outside? Like, this feels crazy. So then... I get another knock at my door. Now, y'all, <laughs> I was like, what is going on? It's Sasha again. Okay? Sasha got on little old shorts, a t-shirt, and she's holding her coat in her hand. So, I say, Sasha, what's up? What's wrong? She goes, oh, can I charge my phone in your house? So, I was like, sure. Why? What's wrong? No, I just need to charge my phone in your house. So I go in my room. I'm looking at my husband. I'm like, this don't feel right. Why is this little girl outside this late at night trying to charge her phone? So I'm thinking, like, maybe she locked out the house. Maybe she's knocking on the door. Her mom don't hear her. I don't know. I'm having so many different thoughts, but I can't kind of make sense of the situation. So I go in my daughter's room, and I was like, Sasha, your mother know you outside? Huh? I said, Sasha, why you need to charge your phone? Why you're not home? Uh, uh, I, I don't know how to get home. You don't know how to get home? How did you get here? Oh, I use my GPS. Oh. So you use your GPS to get here and you don't know how to get home. So I go in the room. I said, do you not know this little girl walked to our house and don't know how to get home? My husband's like, I know where she lived because... Um, the time they had a sleepover, I dropped all the girls off. She lives around the corner. And I was like, okay. I put on my clothes. My husband put on his clothes. We like, we're going to take you home. So we in the car. So I'm like, Sasha, where's your mom? Oh, oh, she, she just went to work. So you're supposed to be in the house, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I need to call your mom. Can you please not tell her that I was outside for a long time because I'm going to get in trouble? What? You think I'm not going to tell your mom that you were outside so you don't get in trouble? That's not going to happen. So I get outside. I'm like, give me. I was like, call um, call your mom. She was like, my phone's dead. And I was like, okay, call on my phone. Y'all, these little kids are slick. She puts her phone number in my phone and calls it. I'm like, hello. It goes straight to the answer, mach answer machine. And I was like, mm-mm. Something about that not right. No nine-year-old child. 
is going to be in a house and their parent is going to have their phone going straight to voicemail. Because I know if I left my nine-year-old child in a house, even if it was to go to the corner store or whatever, my phone is going to be fully charged and ready. So if my child need to call me, I can know. Okay? So I was like, what's the phone number? So I'm putting it in just to make sure she's giving me the right phone number. Right? She was like, oh, 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 that's not my, that's not her phone number. That's my phone number. She tried it, y'all. The little nine-year-old girl tried it. She tried to get me to call her phone and act like um, it was, like, I couldn't get, so I couldn't get to her mother. I said, go charge your phone. I'll stand outside and wait. She goes in the house. She charged her phone. She come out. She gives me the mother phone number. I call the mother. So I'm like, hello? She's like, hello, who is this? And I was like, oh, my name is Chloe, Milan's mom. I just wanted to let you know that your daughter showed up at my doorstep. She wasn't sure how to get back home. But me and my husband are dropping her off now. So she should be home. Um, she'll, she's in the house. She's safe. She was what? She was outside? Oh, my God. And my boyfriend is just on his way. I just left for work. I just left for work. Girl, you didn't just leave for work. Okay, whatever. I'm not, you know, child protective services. I'm not going all into your business. I just want to make sure that your child get home safe. That's all that I'm concerned about. But I was really annoyed because she was very dismissive. It's like she didn't want to, uh, like she couldn't understand how her daughter was outside and I brought her home. Like I did something wrong for bringing her child home. Okay, so I was already like, I ain't like the attitude. The attitude rubbed me wrong, right? So now, y'all, it's the next day. Now, we at home the next day, and the little girl, um, mom, calls my daughter's cell phone. And my daughter answered the phone on speaker, and she was like, did you tell her, she was like, Milan, did you tell Sasha to go outside um, and bring y'all snacks? Milan said, I didn't tell her to do that. I told her not to do that. I told her it wasn't safe. And I was like, is that? Is that that little girl's mom on the phone with my child? What is going on? And then she was like, well, y'all are not friends because you're a bad influence on my daughter. You should have never told her to go outside. So y'all are not friends. Don't text her phone. Don't call her phone. No more. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I looked at my husband like, do I need to go call her back? Because now I'm ready to fight, honey. Don't come at my child like that. Don't come at my child like that because you left your child in the house. What is going on here? So then Milan comes to me like, I don't know how I'm in trouble when I didn't even do anything. I said, baby, you not in trouble. You are not in trouble. You was in the house where you needed to be. Right? So y'all, I was, I was hot. I was a little hot in the inside. So y'all know school just started. And that school just started and um, my husband went to pick my daughter up. On the first day of school, he picks her up, and the mom comes up to my, uh, my husband to say, Are you Milan's dad? And he's like, Yeah. She was like, Oh, wait, can you just come here? So she goes, Sasha said that Milan was talking about her. My husband said, Sasha, what did Milan say about you? Sasha goes, I, I, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what she said. So Milan, um, so my husband was like, So you mean to tell me? Milan was talking about you, but you don't know what she said, but you know she was talking about you. Yeah, her and the other girls were talking about me, but you don't know what she said. What did Milan specifically say about you, Sasha? Oh, I, I don't know. She was just talking about me. Y'all, when my husband called me, I almost blew a casket because, like, I'm aggravated with these mothers. You are not parenting your child properly don't try to blame that on my child okay you left your child oh and y'all i forgot to tell y'all she left her child and her newborn baby in the house alone okay not only was her child supposed her nine-year-old child supposed to be watching a newborn baby like you left two kids in the house by themselves with money because she walking around the street buying snacks for everybody so your husband or boyfriend whoever was not on their way with a cat was not on their way in the cab i'm not buying it it's bs then you got the nerve to try to blame my child for your bad parenting because you decided to leave your kids in the house by themselves you should have been happy that i brought your child home safely 
You should have been thanking me and then whooping her behind lady because she should know better. Not calling and blaming my nine-year-old for something your nine-year-old did. And I already know your nine-year-old is a liar. Because she tried to tell me that she was in the house. She put your, my, her phone number in my phone, making me think I'm calling you. Now she's sitting here saying my daughter talking about her. Like, make it make sense because I'm aggravated. I'm aggravated. I told my daughter, do not talk to that girl anymore. You are not her friend. Not going to get my daughter in trouble or make it seem like she's doing something wrong because you don't know how to parent your child. <coughs> Y'all, these people crazy. That's parenting out here in 2021. I don't get it. Like, I just don't get it. Peace.